box fit day, I have tagged the toilet. Cat was like, put your stickers on the toilet. So I have. Are we uh, still going for coffee later? Oh, we are. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Hello. Today, I just want to reach out to everyone who wishes they were having a real cup of tea right now. Yeah. But instead, we're here giving it the... Are you okay? Yeah, it can taste pennies. It's been a while. <laughs> another vlog. I'm doing a little solo weekend vlog. Um, I've got the whole weekend to myself um, so I thought I would take you with me on my weekend this weekend. So so far I got up and it's box fit on a Saturday so I was like yes I'm in my prime I love boxing. Me and a couple of girls went for a coffee afterwards but I'm gonna get ready because I've got some I'm gonna be out and about today doing my thing. I'm gonna show you my new gadget, right? This is my water pick, it is a flosser. And it's, I, I really don't like flossing my teeth. Me and dentistry and teeth stuff, I'm just a bit like, ah, oh, wait a I'm scared of the dentist. And um, I'd obviously do brush my teeth, but I always find flossing very unpleasant. And my dentist told me to get a water pick which is this, this is the brand. She's like, it's the best in terms of water flossing. I fill mine with warm water or you can fill it full of mouthwash because I find cold water really like that. But it's very messy, so you have to do it above the sink. And I always also do it before I brush my teeth because you're supposed to leave toothpaste in your mouth to like afterwards do its thing. You it in. Basically what it does is it shoots water at a high, like a pressure washer, but for your mouth. I also normally do it in the shower, but for demonstration purposes, I just do it then, because it's quite messy, it goes everywhere. And because I've had a sweaty workout, I did put SPF on this morning, but I really want to wash, give it a good, good old clean. So I've got some Lizelle clean and polish. This is my favorite cleanser for when I just want to feel really fresh. And like I've got a good clean, it smells like a spa. And then I just get a hot flannel. Wash it off. Oh, feels so good. Just doing a little bit of makeup. Just an everyday simple face. A little bit of glass. I'm gonna put on my rings. I've got my rose ring from The Great Frog. Got this new addition, which was from my boyfriend for my birthday. I love that. I have got my little snake mustache. And then I'm gonna just finish off with some Jimmy Shoe. OG, I'm ready. It's not sunny, but I've got my sunglasses on. It's an accessory, you know? I am gonna go into town, peruse. I got a um, couple of vouchers for my birthday. So I'm gonna go and have a look and see if I can buy anything nice. I got John Lewis one and Oliver Bonar. So I'm gonna go and yeah, see if I can find anything that I like. I've also got in my bag Two, pier two bits of jewellery for piercings because I want to get my ears pierced again here and up here and when I was getting my conch pierced previously with this bit of jewellery she did say to me like you know if you ever want to get pierced again after that's healed and you've changed jewellery you can use that bit of jewellery so I'm gonna take it in there and see what they've got to say whether they can, I don't know, get a piercing now. I'll see what they say. There's no harm walking in and inquiring. Hello, Norwich. Oh. To the piercing place. Okay, so I'm all booked for Tuesday. Paid a little deposit. She can use one, one of my jewelries, but not the other one, which I was kind of knew that would be the case because I had the other bit of jewelry I'd just bought from a website. Um, and it's the front bit that they use, like the bit you see, because, um, that's, that's the bit that you're essentially paying for because it was gold. And this will just change the back post. But you don't see that bit, so it's all right. So I'm just gonna get one in here and one up here. I, just, I like having busy ears and I like them being gold. I'm gonna go to the card shop and get a birthday card and a Valentine's Day card for Mon Cherry. Success. I got one for Jack. I got a card for Danny, even though well, it's a Valentine's Day card, but it's got Dwight on from the office and it just made me laugh and I thought she'd appreciate it. Then I got one, um, another one for Jack's mum. I'm now gonna go to John Lewis to see if I can find a thing to spend my voucher on. This is one of those things, right, where my 
My dad and my stepmom asked me what I wanted for Christmas and my birthday, and I, both times I said John Lewis vouchers, because every time I come in here, there's something I like. So I've basically got two vouchers to spend, but, so I just don't really know. I didn't have to buy something nice, like some shoes or some a candle or something for the house. I was looking at getting some nice pan, like a nice pan, but I don't know. Nice bags, nice dune bags, Jasper Conroy. They're a bit old ladies, all the stuff in here, but maybe I'll go look at the home section. I've picked some things. I'm in the nightwear and I've picked these pyjamas, the little shirt and shorts. I've picked up my one of my favourite True Grace candles, which is rosemary and eucalyptus. It's a really, like it's a bathroom candle. I used to like lighting it and then having a bath. It just smells so good. But I think I might also get myself some, some bed socks. Because I'm an old lady now. I don't know what colour though. I don't have to go for pink or for like this biscuit colour. What are we saying? No, 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 no. It's gonna have to be a pink, isn't it? Oh, I don't know though. 35 pounds for a pair of socks. I'm technically not paying for it, so. It doesn't matter. I don't know. I never spend this much money on socks, but they look so nice and I bet they feel amazing and they're cashmere. <laughs> I have just got back to the car after John Lewis. I went into Oliver Bonus because I also had a voucher for there and then just looked around the shopping mall a little bit. But I've just dropped off the shopping in the car and I'm going to go in a minute to go meet my friend Katie for burgers. And then when I'm back, I can show you the good today. I, I just bumped into these young lads, right? And they were, the, you know, the people that are raising money and they come stop you in the street. And I just started talking to them. And they were raising money for um, young people, getting them off the streets, um, like, you know, stopping knife crime and all that trying to kind of, you know, get them learning and learning about starting businesses and stuff like that and just reforming young kids that might have had like a kind of a bad start in life. So I stopped chatting to them and I gave them um, some money in my, in my bag for the charity. What do you call it? They were just, they were, we were just chatting. He was asking like what I do. And he went, oh, you seem like you've got your head screwed on. I went, I am old. Uh, I'm old, I'm an old woman. I went, I'm 33. He went, nah. They both looked at each other. I went, nah, I could have saw you were 19. 19? I don't know whether they were just trying to... I mean, I'd already given them my money at this point, but they were very sweet, very sweet boys, doing good good things, good a good cause. Because I had just over an hour to kill, I didn't really know what to do with myself. There wasn't enough time to quite go home, and I didn't really fancy going for a drink by myself because I don't really want to drink and also I don't want to go for a coffee because I've had so much caffeine today so I thought you know what I'm just going to go to my office and pack some orders because I've got quite a lot of orders from the sale really great amazing but I thought I'd just give myself a little head start next week might as well just come in and do some because I do enjoy packing orders and I just I'm just making the most of my time. These boxes are so bloody annoying. They don't stick at all. Where's my tape? Ooh. I'm going to Graceland. Burgies! Oh yeah! Wow! So I just got back. Wonderful time catching up with Katie, eating amazing burgers. That was the Bun Exchange, which is in a pub called McCorber's. We've been there before together and we just loved it so much that we were like, oh, let's go back again. Got back. I'm going to run a bath in a minute, but first of all, I thought I'd show you what I picked up using my vouchers that I got from my birthday. Well, actually, first of all, because it's right here, I popped into Lakeland just quickly before they closed to get these silicone um, things for the air fryer. Because I've been wanting to get these sort of things for quite a while. And I popped in, and they're only six pounds each. I was like, yep, they'll do. For when I'm cooking stuff in the air fryer, I want to try and, well, I don't know, I just think they're good. I've got a, like, a round one and a square one. My Valentine's Day card says, 
I love you for putting up with my farty bottom. And I got this one for Danny, which is Dwight. It might be a good idea if you and I formed an alliance. <laughs> yeah, and so yeah, from John Lewis, I got my very cute pajama set. This is by a brand called Their Nips. Very lovely material. Oh my God, it feels so good with these cool cheetahs with like f flowers. I bought <laughs> a frying pan, a ninja frying pan. Bed socks, because I'm 100 years old. My True Grace candle, which I think I might go and light, because I want to have a bath. So I just want to get a heads up on the old smell. So, oh. This is the perfect bath time candle, I swear. I'm just gonna quickly light this. You can sit there. Oh, fantastic. Oh God, that's not gonna set a light, is it? What else did I get? So I got an Oliver bonus voucher from my sister. I got this gorgeous gold necklace. Ah, happy mug. Oh, look at it, it's just... Oh yeah, and then I just popped the boots because I need some more shower gel and some bubble bath. My all time favorite. Soap and glory clean on me. And then um, I got some Dr. Teal's foaming bath foam, foaming bath. Picked up these earrings when I was queuing up for the till. Some little silver hoops, very cool. But I got a cropped gray hoodie, wear to the gym. And then some matching bottoms with ankles. But yeah, I'm just gonna put my bits away and run a bath and put my new pajamas on and my new socks on and then have a cup of tea and my new mug. What a lovely, lovely day. <laughs> so relaxed and I've got the new pajamas on. I've got my socks on. Would I ever spend 35 pounds on socks with my own money? Probably not. Of course I'm gonna buy some socks that I would never normally buy myself. I, but I must admit, they feel insane. Like the most wonderful, comfortable socks I've ever put on my feet. So anyway, I'm gonna take off my face with a double cleanse. First being with Bare Minerals um, Hydrating Cleansing Oil, which is one of my favorites. Another favorite of mine, which I was reminded about, is the Chamomile Cleansing Butter from The Body Shop, which I haven't used in so long, but we were talking about it tonight, actually. I was like, that stuff is so good. I need to get some more. Good for travel, because it's not technically a liquid, is it? It's a, um, like a balm. I don't know if that classes as a liquid. I'm going on a ski trip with Katie. She asked me about it last year, beginning of last year. And I was like, hell yeah, I'll come. But I've never been on a proper ski trip before. I've been to Val Terenz twice with JBL when I was working with them a few years back for a thing called Snow Party that they were doing. And I did one ski lesson for an hour, but then I didn't do anything else. And I, so I never really done it before. So I was just like, right, going in a few weeks, what do I need to get? <laughs> Cause I have no idea. So she basically wrote me in my notes in my phone, like what to pack or what you'll need. If anyone else wants to give me any advice on stuff to take skiing, if anyone has been skiing, that'd be really helpful because I have no fucking clue. Well, I do now, a bit more of a clue. It's nice to get some recommendations, but I'm gonna put on the Deep Pool Cleansing Mask, which looks like this. I love a mask. I love the feeling of when it dries on your face. A bit annoying, my mirror is actually over here. So it is technically over my sink, but staggered. I look like Miss Doubtfire. <laughs> Love that film. Good morning! It is Sunday! 
and I've decided to go on a wee little adventure today. So, the first port of call was just dropping in some trousers with Sue. My mum's going to turn up some trousers for me. As it's my boyfriend's mum's birthday next week, I just fancy driving out that way to drop off a card and a present. I just picked up something actually from my mum's work. So it is a bit of a drive out, but I do fancy a drive show. I've put my walking boots in the car so I can take the girls to the beach. But yeah, I just had a nice coffee this morning in my new beautiful mug and I played some Hogwarts Legacy. I let the girls sleep in with me last night, um, which I haven't done in ages. <laughs> and, uh, and I was awoken by them just smothering my face, which, you know, is actually quite adorable. They take it in turns to be spooned <laughs> in the night and they are One's always being spooned and one's between my legs, so I've just constantly got like a, a elongated water, hot water bottle, which is lovely. I'm addicted to Red Bull. My boyfriend doesn't know I'm coming. It's a bit of a surprise. He is recording a band, though, but I'll pop my head in and go, Kiwi! Calm down. D. Diane. Diane. Diane Anderson. Are you gonna get in your bed? So I just dropped off presents, made a surprise appearance, but I am here now at Old Hun Stanton, which is one of my new favourite beaches. You're gonna behave yourselves. You can do, like not be little madams. Here we are on the beach. The sea is quite far out today. Ugh. You want this? Go get it. Have a nice little bark at everyone. Oh, wee time. Wee, she will wee on Lola's wee. Oh no, I put, oh great. Lovely beach, my, one of my faves. We've done our beach walk, which was very pleasant, wasn't it? Did you have a nice time? Did you have a nice time on the beach? I've just come a few minutes down the road. I've just come down the road to a place called Thornham and I'm going to go to Thornham Deli to pick up a sandwich because I've not eaten all day. That burger last night proper filled me up. Half one. And I'm hungry now. Nah, not for you. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I've got a coronation chicken wrap and it comes with salad and some crisps. Look. Wow. And I've got a little caramel shortbread because they're my fave. And a quality. Wow, wrap. Wrapping and rolling. Let's take a picture of that on Daz Cam. If I can, oh my god. Here we go. Mmm. Onward home. Waze is taking me a real, real back road way. And I'm scared <laughs> that I'm gonna like, oh. No, it's fine. Country roads take me home. Oh, we'll go back this way, okay. on the drums but I just had a bath washed my hair and I've put my tan on it is now seven o'clock in the evening and um, I'm all done put my laundry away I'm now making a cup of tea and also fill up my Stanley cup oh god that's such an arsehole when I say it I'm gonna fill up my reusable beaker which happens to be branded because I'm thirsty again. I'm gonna go play Hogwarts. Tan on my face is a bit, uh. I've got to go to a castle 
and I'm scared. I've got a hippogriff, you don't. Go the highway. Oh, but baby boy's calling me. Hello? Hello, baby, you right? Here are you. Where he says I'll be with you at 20 past eight. All right, it's an hour. Oh, sorry, Diane, I keep forgetting you're there. Drop the remote on you. I'm sorry, baby, I'm sorry. Just drop the remote on your head. Right, are there any of these goblins got any money I can take? Oh, fuck off, you little goblin. C got a crossbow. Goblins with a crossbow. Wee! Oh. Up there, that's our way in. Right, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this wee box. I'm going to pull it over here. Come on. Wingardium Leviosa. Come on, Professor. Get up. Professor, get in here. Silly man. Mm -hmm. 